guys. It is August 15th. Um, it's about 8.30 a.m. and we're about to have our second rehearsal for Pippin. We had a great rehearsal yesterday. It was like from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We blocked magic to do. We still have to do some touch-ups on the song today, but I'm really excited. It's going really well. We even got blessed by Steven Schwartz himself, so that was pretty amazing. Yesterday I didn't really film anything because we were all getting it back into the swing of things, but today I thought it would be kind of interesting to see how how people prepare for rehearsal, you know, with warm ups, with our body, and with our voice. So let's go check that out. Watermelon. Hi, guys. Um, oh, I didn't see you there. Hey. hey, so you're warming up. Can you show everybody, like, what you guys do? Um, you know, things with the arms. Like, okay. Ooh, okay. You just want it loose. You want it loose for the people. Ooh. Ma. Ma, 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 ma. You see, you can do ma. Right. All right, so now I'm gonna check out what Steve's doing because he's warming up right now. So let's go see what he's up to. Hey, Steve. Hey. You warming up? Yeah. Oh, cool. What, what, can you show me some stuff that you do? Like, maybe it'll help people, you know? Yeah, totally. Uh, All right. That's cool. You're better than this. You're better than this. I know you can do it. Step out of it. Step out of it. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm just warming up right now. You're warming. This yeah, is the way yeah. you warm up? This is how I get in the character. Yeah. Okay, well, that's great. Come keep, see Pippin. Okay, keep doing what you're yeah, doing. Okay. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Oh. Oh, guys, are you okay? Um, they just don't have it yet. No, they're getting close. Are you abusing them? Is that what I saw? Absolutely not. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Good luck. Keep keep up for the good work, guys. Well, that was interesting. Um, I didn't know they warmed up like that, but I guess to each their own. But you guys haven't even met the cast yet. Let me introduce you guys to some of the leading characters of our show to get you into the world that we're in. Hi, I'm Parker Perry. I'm playing Pippin in our production of Pippin the Musical, and I'm so excited to be a part of this amazing, this awesome production. Hi, I'm Jay Andrew Spies, and I play the leading player in Pippin. I act as the narrator and the guide for Pippin throughout his journey to ultimate fulfillment, and I'm so excited to be a part of this production, Aaron and Dom, on this marvelous show. Hi, I'm Maddie Conti. I'm playing the role of Catherine, who is Pippin's love interest and shows him the beauty of an ordinary life. Um, this is my first musical at UNCG, and I'm so excited, and I'm in love with the cast and the production team, and can't wait. Hi, this is Forrest Wilson, and I play King Charlemagne in Pippin. King Charlemagne is Pippin's father in the production. Um, come enjoy it, and uh, let's do some magic together. Hi, my name is Tamika Bennett, and I will be playing Birth, the grandmother in Pippin, and I am so excited about the show. This musical is going to be amazing. Come see us. We'll be the last weekend in September and the first weekend in October, so please come out and see the show. Hi, you guys. This is Mars Mignon. I play Theo in the show. Theo is Catherine's son. Uh, Theo's favorite thing in the entire world is his duck, Otto. Remember that name. Come see the show with a bunch of magical people in it, especially Otto the duck. Hi, I'm Madeline Saint Singh. I play Fastrata in Pippin. She is Pippin's evil stepmother trying to get the throne for her son, Lewis. And I'm really excited about the show. Hi, my name is Steve Williams. I'll be playing Lewis, Pippin's brother in the show. And I'm excited to bring Lewis to life in a new, never before seen way. Hi, I'm Aaron Spear. And I'm Dominic Amendum. This is Pippin. Yes! Hi guys! Hi. So every week on the vlogs, I'm gonna do a magic trick of the week. So for our first rendition of this, we have Cameron Robinson who's in the ensemble, and she's gonna juggle for us! <laughs> And Steve, hey, you know him. Um, we just wanted to ask her a few. We just wanted to ask you a few questions um, about. So, 
I've been filming how everyone prepares for rehearsal. How have mm. you prepared for Pippin in these uh, beginning rehearsals? Yeah, well, for me, my preparation looks a lot like learning all of the Fosse and, mm -hmm. and really like meticulously um, transcribing. And then what we did is I went into the rehearsal room with our um, our choreography team, so two dance captains and two associates, mm -hmm. um, and then would teach parts of the choreography to them, mm -hmm. figure out what I didn't know, mm -hmm. go back, fill in the blanks, mm -hmm. and then teach it again. And then one of my associates, Taylor, actually prepared two of the pieces of choreography for the show. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, which she was like, that's really difficult. <laughs> it's, it's actually more difficult than creating choreography on your own, mm -hmm. because you're really trying to learn someone else's style and understand why they made the choices they made. Why Pippin now? Why do you want to put out Pippin in this time frame and for UNCG? Yeah, okay, so in this time frame, I think that there's a lot of contemporary tie-ins. Um, I think that we're having lots of conversations right now about um, the individual in society and, and um, a couple of generations, mine included, where everyone really wants to be extraordinary or feels that they are extraordinary mm -hmm. um, and that we're, we're kind of living in the time of an individual. And I think there's something about Pippin's journey um, that is uh, easy to identify. That, you know, there there are some things that he, he really deals with um, that I, I think feel very timeless, you know, and I think if Pippin was a female character, we would identify the same way. There, mm -hmm. There's some right. very strong universal themes. Yeah. And I think, too, we start to deal with this idea that we're grappling with contemporary society of, like, toxic masculinity and gender role. <laughs> it's also just a really great show for our students. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that um, we, it was, a, as we were looking at titles, um, you know, of course, there's the tie-in to Stephen Schwartz and Dom's um, continued work with him on The Prince of Egypt, um, the composer of this piece. It's his earliest show. Um, there's also the fact that it's a large cast musical. Um, I think it's incredibly important that our students uh, are also learning and working with the work of the masters, which is why I am painstakingly trying to replicate the Fosse choreography. Uh, right. um, I think. For our students, that's a very important but, thing. Aaron, do you have any advice for the audience when watching a show like Pippin? Mm, um, I think uh, kind of allowing your imagination to run free um, and to imagine what the possibilities are. I think it's the kind of show that asks you to really give yourself over to it. Mm -hmm. um, because it's always traditionally been such like a, a bare bones show where all of the storytelling is done on the bodies of mm -hmm. the actors. I I think for a show like this too is is be prepared to be um, horrified and entertained and enlightened and um, delighted. Yeah, it, it covers a lot <laughs> of range, you know, and it takes some interesting turns that I think if you don't know the story, you will be surprised by. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Erin for being a part of this. And we'll see you next week.